I'm going to give you guys a quick review of the Double Backbone Adventure Resort here in West Virginia. Here we, here's the entrance. And as you come through the entrance, you would go straight ahead to go up to the main office. We're going to go left and I'm going to show you guys the RV park. This over here is the reservation office to make reservations for the RV. Uh, for the RV location. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of uh, spots here. So they have full electric hookups, they have a grill on each site, fire pit. It's a pretty big site. I'm going to go ahead and go down all the way down to the end. I'm assuming this are, these are bathrooms and showers. Now we are down here, our group is down here in end of April of 2024. Today is Saturday, and you can see that the, uh, the RV site is somewhat full. Trails were pretty busy today. A lot of uh, stop and go, a lot of people passing by, and uh, very busy. More showers and bathrooms, they're cleaning them. That's good to see. I will say that the cleaning staff here is like. I don't want to say 24 hours a day, but as soon as somebody exits the cabin, they are in there cleaning the cabin, getting it ready for the next uh, the next booker or renter. A lot of turnover here. This is a very busy resort. So I highly recommend if you are going to if you are going to book a trip at this resort down here to ride the uh, Hatfield McCoy trail system. I highly recommend booking well in advance. We booked our group in November of 2023 for April of 2024. Here's some sites here. Running water. Like I said, they have a grill, fire pit, picnic tables. A lot of room. A lot of room. Now what we're going to do is we're going to crook come to the end of the RV site and we're going to cross over where we entered and I'm going to take you guys down and show you where they have on-site fuel and also an on-site wash station which is really awesome because if you come down here and it rains it is muddy your machine is going to get covered with mud A lot of nice RVs here. Over here, you'll see overflow. So what happens is, is these guys here, let's just say they, they want to come down and ride early and their cabins aren't ready yet. Same as this guy, this guy's over here. The resort is nice enough that they will let you go up, get your permits to ride, and the permits are $50 per rider, not $50 per machine. They'll let you get your permits, and then you come down to this little blue building down here at the front, and they'll tell you where to park. They call it overflow parking. So you can actually go out and ride while your cabin is ready yet, and then as soon as you come back from riding, your cabin's good to go, and you can go ahead and check in. So they have firewood there for sale. This is the building where you would check in for overflow parking. So here's the main entrance that we came in. You would turn right from the main entrance. They have everything marked right here. Head down this way. And it looks like there's somebody actually washing a Can-Am right now. Up to the left up here is the actual wash station. It's $4, credit card only. The gasoline down here is also credit card only. They do have Apple Pay, Speed Pass for Google Pay and whatnot.
So right here are the, the gas pumps. There's eight. And they were on 87 and 93. There you go. As you can see, they have speed pass. They have credit card. 87, 93. 399 87 499 93 but I'll tell you it's an awesome convenience to be able to come down here and fill up for every ride or top off after a ride. All right, so here's the wash station. And they only have water. Although it looks like a regular car wash, um, I don't think the knobs are working. And as you can see, it's credit card only. Cool thing about this screened in grate here is they recycle the water so it gets filtered and put back in. So they're not wasting water. So as you can see, it's $4 to use it. We're gonna, now down here is where we came in the main entrance. If you remember, we turned left at the RV, we turned right to come down to the fuel station and the wash station. Up this hill is the tent location, the primitive tent location. Um, before I go up that hill, I'm actually gonna take you down here because they also have what's called trail shelters. And I'm trying to show you what they look like. Anybody who wants to rough it, they can come down here and stay in a trail shelter, which it looks like it's a shed with a door, a uh, fabric door. I mean, it beats a tent. It's probably electric in there. Here we got some guys' tent right here, tent right here. Another center. It just got blown down. Like. So that's a trail shelter. So I was going to take you up to the right. As you can see, there's a fuel, fuel arrow. And this is the uh, the main location or the main uh, information board when you first enter, which gives you directions to where you need to go. Now, when you first come to this location, you have to check in at the main store. And I'll show you where the main store is in a minute. But let's go up here. First right will be the tent area. I think there's three large tents. There are, I want to say there's like four or five beds in each tent. There's full electricity. There's wash station behind it, like a, you know, wash basin, a sink. And then there's showers and bathrooms behind the tents. So here's tent one, tent two, and tent three. Then here are the bathrooms right here with the showers. All right, so we're leaving the tent area. Like I said, here's the bathroom. And now what we'll do is we'll head up to the main office So we're heading up to the main office. Behind me, behind me is the entrance. This is the main road. <clears throat> when you first come in, you have to go up to the main office to get your permits, check to see if your cabin's ready. If it's not, then they'll park you in the overflow parking. Up to my right is uh, access to the Devil Ants trails. This one heads over to the Devil Ants tunnel. That also heads over to Rock House. Trail 59. Trail 59 this way also heads over to uh, Buffalo Mountain. So the nice thing about this resort, 
is you are actually in the middle of the Devil Ants trails. Speed limit through here is 10 miles an hour. Try to keep the dust down. Down to the left here. Yeah, cabins one through eight. I will show you what that looks like down there. They're really nice cabins. They have air conditioning, dishwashers. Let me skip there. Here's the heliport. You got a big crew coming down. That's where you want to stay. So right over here to my right is the store. This is where you want to check in, get your permits, and uh, pay, pay and get your uh, cabin. They have everything in that store. Over here to my left is the Triple Tavern. It's a great place to eat. Uh, Friday nights, I think they try to have live bands. I've eaten there three times. The food's awesome. There's that place, girl, Down here on the uh, main level where the store is are a bunch of cabins. I think these are two to three bedrooms, two bedrooms. Um, they're pretty spacious, they're big. Go all the way down here and then I'll have to turn around. Cabin 20 is the end of the line for the first level. As I exit this main level where the store is and where the triple tavern is, I'm going to go around to the right, show you guys what it looks like. They also have a swimming pool on this level. Stand up here so you can see it. There's a swimming pool and it's open in April. There's a triple tavern. There you go. That's a sign you're not probably familiar with. No cars, only ATVs and UTVs. Take you down here. This is the, the lower level of the, technically the main level where the store is. Cabins one through eight. Friends of ours are staying right there at cabin five. They even have uh, stations for your dog to pick up what they do. There's number one cabin. So now we're heading back out off the main level, the store level, and it's it would turn right to exit down to the road. But we're going to go left and we're going to head up to the upper level, as you can see in front of me, where the upper cabins are. Now, that's where our crew stayed. Most of our crew. Some of our crew is staying down in the lower. I think we have like six, had like six cabins. Three of our guys actually left already. But we have quite a few of our crew still here. Now, before I head up to the main level, there's actual cabins. There's two beautiful cabins up here to the left. And it looks like cabin C45 and C46. I'm going to have to look these up. Because when you see them, they look like small houses. They're actually really nice. I don't know the living accommodations of them. You would have to check that out on their website. This is also where you can access Trail 59 as well. Now remember, this trail runs all the way over to Buffalo Mountain. There is C45. Look at that. I mean, that looks like a small house. I'm not sure how much that's, how many that sleeps, but looks pretty big. And then you come around up here.
And there is Fabit C46. Looks like it's similar to C45. Again, big. Very big. I'm going to go ahead and turn around. Again, that's seat, that is cabin 46. You're way up here all by yourself. Got a fire pit back there. It looks like the hot tub. That's the one thing I forgot to mention. A lot of these cabins, you have the option to get a cabin with a hot tub. So there's nothing like riding, you know, you ride 60, 70, 80 miles a day. Nothing like coming back to your cabin at the night. End of the night, cracking open a beer, jumping in a hot tub. So we're coming back down here to the upper road, which takes you to the upper cabins. It's a pretty big resort. You would turn right to go down to the store, or to exit, I'm going to turn left. These two cabins here are pretty sure handicapped. They are, they have ramps. This is a new tavern that they're building with a new pool. That is supposed to open, I'm pretty sure this year. Pool is already done, look at that. Wow, beautiful. Here are the upper cabins. We're actually, my group is staying up here, most of them. And it looks like there's about 10 cabins up here. 12, and then we're going to go ahead and head down to the lower upper area where they have, holy cow, look at this place, another big place looks like a house, that is cabin 34, my goodness, look at that people, beautiful, and then down here you have four more cabins, but look at that view, so there's a lot of people that don't realize, and I didn't know this until I came here. If you look out here, the way these mountains are cut, that's why it's called the devil's backbone, they say. Because if you would look at this from the sky, I guess it looks like vertebrae. You can see how the mountains are notched out. But the sights up here are absolutely amazing. I mean, to be able to come down here, stay down here and access the trails, you have every amenity from home. Like I said, the cabins have dishwasher, they have TV. The, the beds are extremely comfortable. I want to say they're microfiber. Um, air conditioning. Uh, you have a full stove, a full refrigerator. It, it's a, They're just really, really nice place to stay. So, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, we're enjoying our time here at Devil's Backbone Adventure Resort. Come check them out in West Virginia and enjoy your stay.